Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys a full setup video, including care sheet, which is going to be down in the description, for Azurius poison dart frogs. Though, say, even though it's Azurius poison dart frogs, they all dendrobates, which is the genus for the poison dart frogs, have the same care requirements, so you can use this for absolutely any poison dart frog. Um, to get it started with, I'm going to be using a 45 by 45 by 60 uh, vivarium, which will be enough to hold roughly three or four. I'm going to be keeping three in here just because it will be a bit more comfortable for them. But they say that you can use 10 gallons um, for two and then another 10 gallons every single one you put in. And this is uh, 30 gallons, so I'm going to be um, only putting three, albeit I could technically put four. Um, just to tell you guys what I have set up. So, as I said, the vivarium, um, I'm going to be putting in um, live plants, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully they don't die on me. Um, but first of all, let me show you some of the rocks. I'm going to be doing a water feature. This is some dragonstone. Um, I have another piece back in here. I have another piece with a pipe going in. Um, so and then I can make the water feature, as you can see here. Um, the pump I'm using is this, if anyone's curious. It was six euros. Um, in dollars, that would be almost seven. Um, I have a nice piece of vine wood, so that's going to make a nice feature. Um, as for the substrate, I'm going to be using hydro balls for the bottom. As you can see in the picture over here, uh, you, put, you fill the bottom up with it, and then you put a layer of film which is porous, so I'm going to be using the fly screen sheet that you can find at any hardware store. Um, I, after I do that and I put the fly screen sheet, I'm going to be using some Eco Earth, which is just normal cocoa fiber. Uh, people say that you shouldn't use cocoa, cocoa fiber because it can rot, but as long as you have a lot of insects to, you know, do the dirty work, such as springtails or maybe mealworms or else earthworms, you're probably fine. Um, I have some sphagnum moss, which is perfect for poison dart frogs to see. They actually bothered to make the picture. Um, and this is going to be going on top so then I can keep humidity up. Um, then the live plants I have, I have some moss, which cost me about 3 euros, which is roughly $4 for $350. Um, I have some hemianthus, which is a carpeting plant, so it will cover the bottom, again keeping more humidity. And then I have some Anubias, and um, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's a razor blade plant, which you'll be seeing later, and a tiny Anubia in there, like I said. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to be basically doing a video, and you're going to be seeing from the inside of what I'm going to be doing with the hydro balls, with the, with the film and everything, so it's going to be completely uh, descriptive, so you can see what I did, and then you can copy the same thing. Um, basically, one precaution is wash everything. If you can't wash it, boil it, such as wood and the stone. I'm going to be boiling those just to make sure that there's nothing on them because I did buy them from stores. Oh, who knows how long they've been there. The hydro balls are extremely dirty from them. As in they're, just, they're always dirty, so you have to give, give these a really, really good rinse. And I shouldn't need anything else. Um, so. Thanks for watching. You're going to be seeing a video of me setting it up slowly, slowly. Um, this, uh, just a side note, and this, um, just add plain water in a bucket and they'll expand. Like, for example, this will give me, um, as far as I know, around 10 liters worth of soil. So that's more than enough. I'm going to probably be keeping it just in case I need to do a soil change. And this, just this tiny, thin, barely a centimeter thing, will be giving me around seven liters of soil, uh, of sphagnum moss, sorry. So that's also very useful. Um, I think I've been descriptive enough. Um, just for the plants, so then you guys could know, I have a Zoomed um, UVA and UVB bulb. I think it outputs a bit more UVB. Um, it's 230 volts and about 14 watts. So that's not very strong, but it's enough for the plants. Um, and that's about it. Thanks for watching, you're going to be seeing the time lapse shortly.
All right, guys, finally. After an hour and a half of just scaping and seeing where I wanted to put things and putting it all together, um, it's finally done. It looks pretty. Um, you guys saw me doing this and then the whole uh, fly screen sheet. You saw me put down the soil slowly and then you saw me scaping it. Um, I had a bit of a problem with the uh, tube. I forgot to cut it, but at least um, it fit well, by curling it around there. Um, you saw me guys adding the sphagnum moss and the plants. These little hemianthus came nice. Um, this plant is a bit flaccid. Hopefully it eventually soaks up some water and grows a bit larger. The anubia was much easier to plant. But again, I wanted to grow large because I want to use, utilize the vertical space, not only the horizontal, because right now they don't really have that many hiding places or anything yet. Um, I placed the moss just to cover any holes so then no um, unwary poison dart frog enters. The water feature came pretty nice, hopefully. And that's about it. Remember, I'm getting Dendrobates Azurius because they've been my favorite poison dart frogs all my life. Um, they're my first poison dart frogs, so uh, let's see. Let's hope nothing goes wrong. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. You're going to be seeing the Dendrobates like now. So here's an update picture of the tank. As you can see, I got some of those coconut shells, the halves, and as you can see I got the beautiful Azurius. There they are. Oh, look at them. They're so pretty. I only ended up getting two. Um, I said I was going to get three, however the pet store actually accidentally sold one of the ones I booked, so uh, whatever. He has, he's gonna get be getting any one, new ones soon, but at least this gives me a chance to see What's what kind of sex they are like because they're still too young to tell they're about the size of a thumb uh, of a fingernail Actually a bit bigger, but the thing is um, like this. I can't tell what sex they are yet, so um, It gives me enough time to see what they are and then maybe get one which I will know what it is For example, if I have two females, I'll get another male for example So then I can actually breed them eventually look at this guy is trying to get out up oh, up. Oh, he found it Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's perfect. Look at them up there. <laughs> this one's still in there. All happy. Anyway, thanks for watching. These are the Azurius, Dendrobates, Tintorius, Azurius. Uh, that's Cobalt. And that's Azure. <laughs> there are, those are the names. Thank you very much. Uh, please like and subscribe for update videos. It's gonna be fun. Thank you very much. Ciao, ciao. Thanks for watching.